Hi, my tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitter. She the True Love here with you. And we are going to talk about boys who are looking for women that they can control. And the reason why I say boys, because a man would never conduct himself like that. I love men. It's the broken little boys that I can't stomach too much because it's just ridiculous. You know, you have issues with yourself. You have things going on with yourself. It's your job and your responsibility to fix that and remedy that, okay? And stop living in the past. God, I'm so sick of people who live in the past. I keep trying to tell my daughter that one. The girl lives in the past. Get over it. Go into therapy, counseling. Fix it. That's your responsibility now. You're in the driver's seat. Fix it. Go into counseling with the family, whatever. But stop living in the past, for God's sake. But anyway, I want to share a video with you. This is wonderful. This woman is on point. Reasons why she don't like answering her phone. <laughs> And it's also, I like the way she put emphasis on, you know, a lot of women, they, they, they think that a man is the be all to end all without a man. Life is not worth living without a man. I have no value without a man. I have no worth. Oh, give me a break with that. That's sick. But anyway, see, these are the reasons why I just don't answer the phone. Okay. People don't be talking about shit y'all. My sister who got three kids and struggling. Every time we on the phone, she want to talk about a man. And I'm not going to lie. My sister, she typically go after men who have money. She going to make them trick off and whatever. Cool. But yet you're in the same position that you were yesterday and last week. That means whatever men that you're talking to ain't doing enough for you. Boom. I tell her simply. I told her. I said, I'm probably not the best person to get advice for him. Number one, because I don't care about a nigga. Number two, I don't care about what a nigga got. It don't got nothing to do with my bank account, you know, increasing, decreasing, nothing. I don't want to hear a man brag about his money and he ain't giving me none. That make you dead weight. That make you dead weight. Why well, want to hear about the clothes and shoes and belts that you got? Did that, did that? How is that going to impress me if the clothes, shoes, and belt is not on my body? At that point, I'm just listening to you talk. You're a storyteller. Okay. I'm just not that kind of female. Boom. And another something that my sister does wrong is she'd be putting her herself in a position to need somebody. These men know that if they don't provide it for you, then you just ain't going to get it at all. Me, never that. If you're going to trick off, I will gladly take whatever you got. Let me have it. But even if you don't get it, you best believe that I can still get it myself 10 times over. And that's what I think that men really don't like independent women who got their own stuff. It's like, Nigga, be here, don't be here. The fuck? I'm still going to get it. And I'm still going to get it. And I don't think that men like women with that type of mentality, that type of demeanor. But it's really true. That's really just a gag. You're going to get it for me if you want to, blah, blah, blah. But I'm still going to get it no matter what. I hate like answering the phone, talking about a dude. I don't want to hear about a dude. I, I want to hear like what you've done to improve yourself. What have you done to improve the situation that you're in for you and those three kids? Can we talk about it? Well, we ain't got, you don't know nothing, but all you want to talk about is what the next nigga's doing. Oh, two of the dudes you talk to at the same place at the same time. You're scared. You don't know what to do. Honey, I, I'm, I'm not a kind of, that, I'm not her. You got to go talk to somebody else who maybe have that similar interest. Cause I don't care about what a nigga doing. I'm worried about what I'm doing. I wonder, all I'm worried about is how I'm going to be better than what I, what I was yesterday. If a man gonna trick off, let him trick off. But you best to believe, no matter if you got it or not, I do. I be telling her, stop giving these men so much power. Like, how was every conversation about a nigga? Move on. That, that's dead weight. Move on. Now, these are the type of females that I'm looking for. Women like this, but I'm sure she's somewhere maybe in Atlanta. She's not here. I live in Albany, New York. And where you have a bunch of women who feel that without a man, uh, a life is not, like I said, worth living. I didn't got time for that. I need women with that mentality. I also had one of my, oh my God, I posted this video. She's like, my dream come true. I don't know if you saw the video. It's one of my vanilla sisters who's amazing. You know, and she was like, you, you, you were telling women, that's why you're going to be alone when you hit 60. And she made such a, that tickled her. And made her laugh so much along with me. You know? And I like the way this female says, if you don't give it to me, I could go out there and get it for myself. 
You haven't said nothing smart or nothing slick, son. Are you kidding me? And no, men don't want that. They're looking for women that they can control. They're looking for women who have sucker written all over them. If you walk into a room and you don't have sucker written all over you, he's going to overlook you. He's going to look at the woman over there. He's going to look over there. You walked into the room. I like when I walk into a room, I walk into a room, healthy, self-esteem, confident. That's Sheila True Love. So, of course, you have a lot of dudes that's going to overlook. Not that I want their attention anyway. I don't, I don't, I, I'm not an attention addict. The only time I want someone's attention is, is if I'm studying with you, if I'm speaking with you, then I would like your undivided attention. Other than that, honey, you can have all the attention. These women, you can have it. You ain't got to feel threatened hanging out with Sheila True Love because I don't want it. But this is the type of female or these are the type of women I am looking for. Not women who feel that they got to have a man. Every time you talk to them, it's always about a man. They can't be happy unless they have a man. That's ridiculous to me. This is why you see I'm flying solo. I have three of my girlfriends, my best friend, my best friend, my girl, since we were 16, she's single too. We were both married before. I've been married two times, 2.5, because I was engaged to be married again. I ain't got no problem with a man trying to marry me, getting a man to marry me. That ain't no problem. I have that type of personality. But I'm the one who's constantly saying, no, no, not interested, no thanks. You know? But my point is, you don't need no man. Nobody need. Let's talk about that word need. Need, need means without it, you die. You need air. You need food. You need water. You need shelter. You need God. You need Christ. Without those, you die. You don't need no man. And vice versa. Without these, a woman or a man, you're not going to die. You'll be happier, trust me. You don't believe that right now, but you will. But I'm glad that you were here. I put a little lipstick and give me some color because I'm looking crazy right now, but whatever. I love myself, though, and you know I'm fabulous, and I'm always say positive things about myself. And when I look in the mirror, I say, oh, my God, good morning, girl. You're so beautiful. Sheila, I'm loving you, girl. You're going to have a great and an amazing day. But I wanted to share that with you. You know, I don't have any issues with men. It's the broken little boys who refuse to go into therapy and get the counseling that they need to heal their broken selves. I love you. I'll be making more videos. Bye.